Nick Train takes a leap in the dark with Fever Tree Stake Nick Train has taken a leap in the dark and initiated a position in Fever Tree as shares in the Tonic Watermaker continue to take a beating, joining other heavy hitters like Fun Smith that have jumped on the bandwagon. Train announced he had added shares in the drinks business to his Finsbury Growth and Income Trust this month at the £1.8 billion investment company's AGM on Friday. Fever Tree is the second British brand Train has taken a punt on in the last seven months after buying Imperial Soap. PZ Cousins. The drinks mixer has also been scooped up by Terry Smith's Small Cap Trust Smithson and features in Harry Nimmo's £578.6 million Standard Life Investments Smaller Companies Trust, although it has recently been one of his biggest detractors from performance. Fever Tree and PZ Cousins classic Linsel train ideas while he did not clarify the size of the position, train implied he was taking his time and building up his position slowly. His position in PZ Cousins, which he initiated over the summer, is only 0.3% of net asset value, he said during the meeting. The Linsel Train co founder said he had been eyeing Fever Tree for years but held off investing because it was too expensive. So when the company took a 30% hit to its share price this January, it really did make us sit up and take notice. Shares in the tonic maker are down nearly 70% from its peak price of £38.63 a share in September 2018 and have lost 40% this year alone. PZ Cousins share price has also continued plunging in recent years. It is now trading around 176p, down 60% from five years ago. Train said the falls in share price were justified noting that both companies face short-term if not medium-term challenges. But on the other hand he said both groups have excellent brands that should see them through the long term. To us, to me, these two companies are classic Linsel train ideas, he told shareholders at the AGM. The way we choose to work is when we see companies that own brands of this caliber and the share prices fall by that sort of degree, we have to get interested. Train takes a leap in the dark during the Q&A portion of Friday's AGM. One retail shareholder asked Train whether Fever Tree was a bit too fashionable since it is overexposed to the now trendy gin market which could fall out of favor. Train replied that there was an opportunity for Fever Tree to grow brand equity in Europe and the US which are at very different cycles in terms of their usage of booze and brands, adding that there was an opportunity for it to cash in on the ginger ale and soda water market in America. Unquestionably a brand of global value and significance has been created. But in the end, you could be right he said. In the end, buying anything for the first time there is a leap in the dark. You can never be sure. But having kicked ourselves a more on this story, visit the news article link.